Hey, how's it going? This is going to be the beginning of Career Story 2. So it'll be new game, career. I don't know where I want to start because with a lot of the things that I've done, want to implement and know, I do like starting at beginner outpost. I have all my Arctic docks in place, so I could also start in the Arctic to use those. Or I could go to North Maya outpost. But that's kind of... Mm, I don't want to go back to the desert so much. And I'm playing with a lot of new things. We'll go starter base. Go beginner outpost. Keep it classic. I'll turn on both the DLCs that I've got. But I've got a lot of different things. So um, I might actually need to read some of these. From the workshop. We are going to have complete mission locations. I think these things here are part of Zizos. Got crate sniffing dog, custom career settings, which we can turn here. So I want to turn the third person vehicle and player on. We have vehicle damage player damage for sharks. Oh, rogue mode is like hard mode. I like it, but probably not so good for this. No sea monsters. Or should I should I put on sea monsters? Okay, I'll do sea monsters. I don't really like them, but maybe it'll add some more interesting gameplay, maybe. Lightning. Doo -doo 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 -doo. I should check the settings on these, actually. Mission frequency, 60 minutes. Mission bay. Display. Oh, yeah, I'm going to have these. Display timer and display rewards, because then it will prevent me from, like, flying a million miles away for something that's about to expire. Sniffing dogs. I don't think that needs to change. Um, and this, the fixed resource storage with purchase. Rebalanced prices, yes. Um, I'm going to leave, I'm going to put on Salsalago circuit. I don't need the off-road course, that's kind of just for testing. Sawyer guardrails. Zizzo, oil storage. I think this is just for oil near the drilling points. Oh yeah, railroad signal enhanced. Custom AI. Oh, this is a hospital ship thing. And then, I don't know what this is, but we'll turn it on. Now, I've got to make sure I turn off all the official ones. We leave natural disasters on, but I'm going to turn it up to maximum time between them. Default railway signals is off. Uh, I need to disable default resource storage. Disable default resource trading. That one. Oh, I need to disable default AI. Okay, I think that's all the conflicting stuff that I need to enable or disable. Or right, in DLC weapons, I do not want those on. Get rid of the tutorial. I think that's it. We're at the starter base in career mode with some custom career settings. Confirm. Let's go. Here we are. Yippee, what the hell? Oh, there's a dog. Can the, the dogs can talk now, maybe? Greyhound. That's probably part of the sniffer dogs add-on. And first things first, check for a crate. Easy cash injection. Seems like we've got a bit of a foggy world here. Oh, and fog of war is on. Huh. Wait, and I've got third person. This is going to be interesting. So I kind of know where some stuff is. Realistically, I have no idea where any of the islands are going to be. So the first mission we've got, the black and white boat radioed for help, $1,000, extinguish all fires, and two casualties. I think I'll build a new boat. I had an idea of a boat that I've really wanted to build, but have kind of been holding off, and it would be a little barge type thing. It'll probably have to be a bit shorter up the front. So we're going to go, we'll give it some edges here, and then I think I'll leave the very end, can just flatten off like that. Give it some structure, some support. And I want the back to kind of be raised up a little bit. So I'm thinking that I'll do like one, two, three, so you can walk around the sides. I'll do three at the back as well, so you can walk the whole way around. I was thinking I could put the engine in there, but that's not going to work very well. I wanted this to come up a bit at the front. So it's kind of like a landing craft, kind of like a a boat that you could 
um, drive a vehicle onto or something like that. Kind of just like a very barge, bargey kind of vehicle. Boat. Very bargey kind of boat. I don't want to make it too tall, but I want to make it stable. So I'm thinking I'll go for seven on the inside. The below deck area will be seven tall, just so you fit standing up. I think that back section can just be like the whole width of the boat. So what I'm going to do here, one side is going to be stairs up to up to the side where you pilot from. I'm not sure which side I want to put that on though. Up and then I'm going to use a helm. I like the helm. Give it a bit of space around it so that I can put things like buttons and levers and such down. And then the rest of this, I'm going to put a door in here. Probably the hinge door. Uh, I'll put it near the middle. That'll give me better stability. So all of this will be full height. And that's where I can put seats or a bed. And it still should allow me to see over if I'm piloting or captaining or whatever it is. I kind of want a door here on the side, but I also kind of don't want a door. Built this little helm bridge room thing. Got a little bit carried away. And it's very wide now, so I am going to have to move it across a little bit. I'm thinking it's going to have to move across a lot, actually. It might as well just be in the middle. I think that might even be the middle. It is. Okay. So part of the reason for moving it across to the middle is I wanted to put rails on the sides of the staircase. Both sides. That removes so much space from where I wanted my door to be. So I've just put the door right over on the other side. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to put a door up here at the bridge as well. And I was doing shenanigans with these windows, so now they're like offset from where the ledge is. It's, uh, it's pretty weird. So I have a staircase up to the bridge, which is pretty small. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. But it has a nice big ceiling, high ceiling, with windows all the way around. I put a, a one by three up in the roof there, and then all the space for dials that I could possibly want. And then when you come into this room, I actually want it to drop down because the door goes right to the ceiling there. Actually, it doesn't make much sense to use this room for anything at all because it's so, 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 so narrow. But a staircase fits perfectly. I've just installed some little gates and ladders on the side as a rescue zone and they both have push buttons and they will fold in I'm pretty sure and if you go down here this should be I should be able to put an engine somewhere below and then all the fuel and everything can go down below deck as well well anyway I'm gonna need propellers and an engine I can't put the propellers too far in because then they'll cut into this walkway at the rear section so i may need to put a propeller directly in the middle it would be kind of neat to have it on like a um what do you call it like a keel thing just put a bunch of rudders down there i want to try and get as much control as possible and i think i might have to cut something into the floor here I'm going to use a bunch of weight blocks all the way through the middle here and that should keep me stabilized. I don't really feel like doing a stabilizer system right now. All right so I think I just need to, some kind of engine room and if you think about this thing being in the middle then it would make sense to have like five on the edge here one two three four five. So now that's even and then the engine can live in here. And I'm going to use a 3x3 modular engine. Now the setup I'm going for is I've got three gearboxes down here and that go straight into the propeller. So there's no generator on this end. And I think instead of using these starters, 
I'm going to put another modular clutch on here and use a motor and an alter and a, a motor and a generator because I've got the space above. That's where I'm going to put those. And I've left enough space around the engine on both sides, so I should be able to go down and weld anything that gets damaged. And then this will be the wall that sort of separates the engine room from whatever else I'm putting down here. So I guess all of this front area is going to be, I don't know, like storage, sleeping. I might put a cargo hatch up on the top then. We're going to need some seats in here. I don't want to be taking people below deck for anything, so... I'm just going to build some makeshift seats along the side here. And I have given myself a time limit of an hour to get this working as good as possible. Right, I've got seven minutes to make this a working boat. I put my fuel pumps here out in the open, so nice and easy. I can't screw that up. My lever's connected, my key is connected, and my A and D is connected. I don't have a fuel tank yet. Kind of want to put it in here, but then it's very like at the back. It would be better if it was right up in the middle here at the front. Just for weight distribution. Okay, I've hooked up all the electricity. Time to see if it floats. Oh, it does. Okay. <laughs> Gates work. First try, which is good. Uh, this pump doesn't work. Uh, okay, I guess this is in here now, because of where it was floating when the boat spawned. We have coolant, we've got fuel, we've got exhaust. I don't know if it starts. I've got no lights or anything, so all my microcontrollers and things that I should have hidden but repairable are going to be in this compartment, and that hatch is just at the end of the walkway up to the bridge. just made this little panel little microcontroller and it's going to check my fuel level my battery my engine rps and my engine temperature the other thing i should put on here is fire extinguishers first aid um i think for the first mission that stuff will live in the floor okay time to find out if it will even start and the battery's draining, which means that the starter motor is continuously going. I'm missing a pipe. Something's happening. It's backwards. <laughs> We're off. This is a terrible boat. But if we just go east, find this boat, make some money. And I've got the old don't get lost unit, this upgraded version. Man, this is a slow boat. I want to earn some money and then build some steam powered engines. Because the diesel furnace and steam pistons was just overpowered. So overpowered. Also got to remember that the Meg and the Kraken are in this world. And that is going to cause a lot of pain. But I have respawning turned on as well. So I guess I just respawn and head back out. We'll need to keep in mind that I need a fast boat. Always need a fast boat so that I can just outrun them if I need to. Because what else are you going to do? Eventually I guess I can put weapons on my boats. I have thought about this as well. If you put cannons or something on the bottom of your ship or on the side. And then you can just... Probably on the bottom would be best with a, a swiveling turret. And then try and shoot them if they get too close. Hopefully they won't spawn anytime soon. There it is. Wow, that is on fire. That is really on fire. <laughs> <laughs>
Oh no, someone died. We're too slow. The boat's too slow. This this is a piece of crap, I have to say. I think when it says someone died, that means they can't be revived at all. They are gone. Okay, everyone's dead. But I can still put the fire out. It says deceased. Deceased? Not incapacitated. Well, I got money for putting the fire out. There's no equipment on this boat. Actually, like, having that open end on the front is quite useful. And having the gates on the sides also useful. So, uh, I'm not quite sure. I get the feeling that if I take the corpses to the hospital, I will get some money. So I'm going to give that a shot. And I'm definitely going to swap over into the the, uh, the old rib. 12k rib will be so much better than this. Because I think it was just a case of I didn't get there fast enough and the fire spread. And right now I just need to focus on making as much money as quickly as possible. It might also be worth just taking the rib out and going looking for crates. So we're gonna... No! My NPC's despawned, I think. That's the only answer. Well, I'm at the hospital island now, so I'm going to have a look for crates before it gets dark. It's already pretty dark, really. The goal right now is to find enough crates to be able to buy North Harbour and spawn in the seaplane. I feel like if I'm able to actively play with a vehicle, such as the seaplane, then I'll really figure out how it needs to operate and what needs to go inside of it. Crate. 10,000 dollars? So I guess I've failed that mission. Or I've at least sort of completed it. <laughs> It's actually expired, so that means I put out the fire, and then the NPCs died, so then the mission's no longer available to finish. Last place to check. This room. No. Not today. Not today. Wait, what is that? So I'll get this thing back to base, have a sleep, and then get out for some new missions with a rib. There's no way this would make me any money. This is already used, like 300 litres of diesel. Going nowhere. If I get the rib, and then I come down to whatever this island is and have a look. And then scoot around here a little bit and see if I can explore and reveal some more of the map. Oh, the helicopter base is over there. Where am I? This is north. That's like west, southwest. That could be a good place to go and purchase. Okay. That was, um. You know, maybe not the best mission. Or not the best boat, is what I mean. Sleep the night away. Oh, perfect. Extinguish the fires and rescue one casualty to a hospital. And it's at that island that I want to go to. Here we go. 12k starter rib. Doing a starter mission. Alright. You know what? I should put the don't get lost unit in here somewhere. A 1x2 display has got to fit in here somewhere. What's this? This is a speedo. Speedometer. 
this is just equipment so i can definitely put something in the front here and then two buttons what can i remove well to be honest if i don't care about how fast i'm going then that's perfectly fine i don't think any of the sensors are in here though so we'll have to add them as well gps y gps x compass clock video out and connect the display's power to the key i also want to put on a relay here and the relay will be also connected to the key i just need to make sure i connect the electricity up down there so this will go the relay will go from the main battery which i think is this one into these sensors and that is to stop the gps from consuming electricity when the boat's not on very good very good in the fog it's kind of not so good with these lights i really hope we're not in for a foggy map Oh, I should get rid of the compass ball, because it's there now, on the display, and put the speedometer in the middle there. And I bet I can turn this one. I think that's just a blank block that I can't put anything in, but it could be an equipment slot for my flashlight. Here we go. Very easy. I'll do a quick circle around of the island. Hmm, I don't see any crates on there. There might be... Yeah, there could be some on the very top, but I don't think so. Eye off at the dock, take the sky up. There you go, mission complete. Now I'm going to head off towards the west and try and find that airport base. I'm going to head over to the lighthouse because the map has not revealed the airport. So it must be a bit more north or even further away but if i go to the lighthouse then i know there's at least two crate spawn chances within a very small space i think it's worth checking and then once i'm over here heading back up north maybe on a bit of a west northwest angle and try and reveal some more of this top area I don't think there's any crate on the top, but there might be one at the back by the ladder. Ooh. No. No, no crates here. So I'll head north west. Hopefully I find some small islands with mini crates. And I'll keep an eye out for crates in the water as well. An island has revealed itself. So it was way further away than what I thought. I'm going to have to go a lot more west. And it is Outpost TT, which is essentially... A helicopter base but it's also kind of like a hovercraft float plane base the build zone is very small but it's got a ramp down to the ocean so if it were a bigger base you could xml the, the build zone to be bigger because it's outside it's not actually in the hangar 
and it's at negative basically negative 8,000 negative 1,000 so we're not too far away about two kilometers east and right on the latitude we should just be going straight west now I think that's the control tower I think or a little light flicker up there we must be yeah we're on the back side of it so if you're approaching from this angle you won't see the light very well keep an eye out for crates as well I don't know how many crates can spawn here let's investigate there's usually a crate or very often there's a crate inside the hangar but you have to buy it to open the hangar I think I don't think I can yeah oh you can I don't think you could interact with it ta-da <laughs> uh, got him does not appear to be any more crates Oh, okay. It's on the roof. Sometimes there's one out over the arch. So I best go investigate. Oh, I can't even get over that. Ah, I wonder if they've changed the hitbox. It's really hard to hop over this rail now. So it doesn't seem like there's one anywhere around here. I want to jump off, but I also don't want to die. Pretty sure the water down there is actually pretty shallow. It's not worth the risk. Now, nothing else has revealed itself. And my fuel situation is pretty good. I think I'll go north. There might be something up in this top section. Another island or two that I could get something from. And then I'll head back to base. We've got an island revealed itself. That's the one with the like ruined castle tower thing on it. It's usually pretty good for two crate spawns and the wind or something has been leading me off course slightly to the west so we're headed this way anyway negative 11,000 x and 1,000 y oh it's right there okay <laughs> I hope this fog clears up because it's making it kind of difficult Maybe it's to increase performance. Hide everything behind the fog. Actually, I hope it's not like a setting. No, view distance is right up. I've just got a bad weather seed. Looks like there's a crate on the top of the arch. This could actually be... This is like a good island for crate spawns I think there's a lot of different possible spawns here there's one like in the forest up here then there's another one in the tower and there's one there mm, I didn't see one in the forest but there is one in the tower 10,000 Gotta chase away these turkeys. Wait, wasn't there a crate here? Or did I see one of those birds? I'm sure it was a crate though, it was very square. It was very brown and very square. Oh well, I'll find out when I eat it. So, oh no. I'm sure it's deep enough.
<laughs> Most anticlimactic sound effect. Just whoop, whoop. Okay, so, oh, I could head up to exactly the same island, but more northwest. We'll go and have a look in case it's got another crate. So right now I can buy North Harbour, but I can't spawn anything if I do. Or I could spawn, like, this boat. Oh, we've got the multiplayer base. Should be able to see it. I would be able to see it if there wasn't as much fog. We have arrived. It's definitely starting to get dark. So I need to hurry up. I don't want to be out here in the middle of the night. I should find out how much the roll-off Patriot costs to spawn. And if I can spawn it at North Harbour, I might be able to do some trips up to the fishing village and back with some containers. And we've got another crate though. 7,000? Liz, yes, okay. Another 7,000? Didn't see any crates up there. Ooh, okay. <laughs> we'll go check the multiplayer island. And then head back to base. We're actually doing really well on fuel to have driven this far and gone to the lighthouse as well. We'll park up on this side. I don't really come to this island at all. So I'm not sure where a good place to park or even to start looking is. It's going to be a lot of hopping around. This is a desolate and barren wasteland. I don't think there's any crates on this island. We'll just head back east, go back to base, and have a sleep, I guess. Getting dark. Hopefully I can make it back before it gets too dark. Before the weather gets too rough as well. Oh dear. <laughs> Don't text and drive. Took me a while to get back because of the accident. Oh no, I'm actually going to drown. <laughs> uh, yeah. I was trying to get a good shot and I crashed. But anyway, I made it back, and the fog cleared up, so that's good. Might grab that dog as well and put in a dog whistle. That might help me find some crates. Hopefully, with a bit of luck, we'll find some crates. Also discovered some more islands on the way back. And getting North Harbour is probably a big step towards getting the seaplane and all my other vehicles finished. Using Zizzo's mods, a lot of these things like the diesel sell and buy prices, they've been adjusted correctly now. I've got the ability now to go and buy and sell resources, do resource trading and make a lot of profit that way. But right now the goal is to get North Harbour and do some container shipments. So I'll get on to that next time. So thanks for watching and I'll see you later.